Hello everybody. So when I bought this house, this used to be a church. Um, nobody lived in this house before I did. It was a church when I bought it and I made it into a house together with my parents. They gave me a lot of help, of course. But <clears throat> since it was a church, there was no water in it. There was no running water. So we hired a company to drill a well for me. And right here is the well. There is a... Eh. <laughs> Since we're on the top of a mountain here, you can't see it because of the trees, but we are 250 meters up. Um, and because we're that tall, they had to drill 75 meters down to find water for me. So I wasn't hooked up to any water lines from the city or anything. I have my own water supply right there. So the water supply is 75 meters down and to get the water out they put a pump in there. So 75 meters deep from there they lowered down a water pump that pumps the water up. The water line goes through my grass here underneath my parking lot, underneath my car and then into the house right there. And I've got a little bit of a problem at the moment. So I just took a shower and I got done taking my shower and I've noticed for a couple of months now that my water pressure is real bad. Let me try if I can show you without getting too wet. So if I, you know, it should be hitting the roof when I do that, but it, it doesn't. It's, uh, yeah, it's not great. Put it back. Now, when you get a water system like mine, there is a pressure vessel in your house. This pressure vessel will get filled with water under pressure by the pump that's underground. And let me show you that. So right here in my tool shed and washing shed, here it is, the pressure vessel or pressure vat. Um, so water comes from outside, goes into here under pressure, and the pressure inside this thing will give me pressure in my shower or any other water taps I have around the house. Right now it's at a really high pressure. It's like at four bars or five bars almost. And I don't understand why is it on such a high pressure but I'm not getting that, you know, inside. When I'm not getting that pressure on my shower. So I'm gonna Google some stuff, look some stuff up and see what I can do about it. Because you can actually hook up like air and repressurize it somehow, but I'm not sure how at the moment. So today I'm on a mission to figure this out and get some water pressure back like I had it before. All right, I've been uh, trying to find out how to deal with this situation. My dad is also interested in uh, figuring out how to do this. So we're gonna turn the water pump off let half of the water come out. Then we're gonna put air into the system at the pressure we want it at. And then turn the water pump back on so um, it fills up with water again and then it should be correct. So we're gonna do that and uh, hope everything goes well. Okay, taking out the water pump. Okay. There we go. So now the water pump should be disconnected. And now we're gonna take out the correct number of liters. Okay, since we know how much liters that thing holds, I've got a five liter jug here. So we're gonna take out half the water and then put the air in. So this will help us calculate how much we get out. I 
Okay, so we have taken out half the water that was in there and it's right now at 1.7 bars and what we read on the internet that's the amount of pressure they deliver the system with. So now we're gonna pump it up to uh, I think 4 bar and then let the water pump put water back into the system and uh, hope everything goes well. Okay, we got the air in there. Now we're gonna turn the water pump back on and let it fill up with water. And then it's time to check the water pressure. Putting in the water pump. The clothing line is in the way. Okay. Okay. So after we turned it on, it went to five bars and then stopped. Time to check the water pressure. First, checking it in the kitchen. Yep. That, you know, okay. looks normal. But now the shower check that I did earlier. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, that's uh, that's a lot better. Do do it again. That's a whole lot better, don't you think? <laughs> well, hopefully that solved the problem for a while. <laughs> um, let's see if the rain shower, the shower. Whoa! I mean, that looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Full gear on it, but look at Okay, so um, turning this off. So yeah, hopefully that solves the problem for the next three years. <laughs> because what I read on the internet, you want to check the water level every three years. Um, but of course, it's do good to do it like more often. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with this result. This is pretty good. All right. Well, there you go. I'm uh, happy with my new water pressure. It's uh, good to have some pressure coming out of your shower when you're showering instead of just, you know, water dripping on you, water that's actually, you know, giving you a little bit of a massage. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the things uh, I know. I know some of you that watch my channel are interested into moving to Sweden themselves. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things you can uh, keep an eye on when you are looking for a house. If the water system is uh, still doing good or maybe really old and needs a replacement because it is not cheap to get a new water system or new water pump or all that, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm happy I fixed mine today. I know this was a short one. Um, I appreciate all of you that actually made it to the end of this video. You are my heroes. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. YouTube says you might enjoy this video. Go ahead and give it a try.